Welcome back. So great to have the Bayou Cooney Pride team on Cooney Connection talk about what's happening for the month of June. But now coming up shortly will be more on pop-ups on the Bay at Swix Park here in Belleville. So joining us in the Belleville Chamber of Commerce, Joe Raycroft and Bren Foran to talk about all things pop-ups. So Joe, we'll let you start off first. How are things going this year? They're incredible. And we have, we're looking forward to a, the sixth season for pop-ups on the Bay. The Chamber has been involved with supporting the city kind of under that Discover Belleville banner that we work with for events and other cool things like visitor services. But Pop-Ups on the Bay is the newest little attachment to that group of things we do. And it has given me the wonderful opportunity with, to work with Bren the past couple of summers. When is the grand opening for Stuff Jill and when are things going to launch? So everyone is down at the park busily getting ready and we are looking forward to doing an official grand opening on May 31st. So for the viewers who are watching this now, hopefully you're getting quite excited. And if you follow us um, on pop-ups on the Bay, you'll hear the story. You'll see the stories of the vendors coming in. And if there's any secret opening or soft opening on the 24th, next weekend, you'll know there. Thanks, Jill. Appreciate it. Well, Bren, let's go through all the wonderful vendors. What are the new vendors this year? Well, we have six new vendors this year, which is really exciting. Um, let me see. Where will we start? Uh, we have a, a new outfitter at the park. So we have the Light and Glow Kayak Rentals, which we're very excited to have a new activity at the park to keep people active and uh, also being able to check out our beautiful shoreline. Right. And they glow at night. And they glow at night. So there will be night kayaking, which is kind of a new little twist for us at the park. Um, so that is our, one of them. We also have Barry Circle T, who is our first food cart. So he is a uh, hot dog cart with uh, pulled pork uh, as well. So I'm uh, pretty excited about him because I have to say I love hot dogs. Uh, <laughs> my favorite. My favorite too. They're a food group, right? They are a food group. <laughs> uh, we also have exciting uh, Mel's pierogies. And Mel is a uh, Belleville, just newly back to Belleville and wanted to uh, start her own little business with uh, selling homemade pierogies and selling them hot as well as frozen so people can take them home with them. So um, we're do you excited. Think people have, do you think people have checked her out at the farmer's market? Absolutely. Yeah. She's gotten rave reviews, so we're very excited. And so is she. She's very excited to be coming to pop-ups. Uh, we have a young couple from the Ukraine uh, called The Taste of Ukraine, which will be our coffee shop at the park. And, uh, you know, excited to help them start something new in our country and for them to, uh, you know, expand themselves. I want to interrupt just one minute because the reason we can get a new coffee shop was because mm -hmm. Benji, who has been down at the park for a few years, yeah. has now moved into his own space, which was part of the original initiative with the pop-ups on the Bay to give startups an opportunity to build their customer base and spread their wings. And Bren's been a huge mentor and coach for that. Yeah. And Benji's doing incredibly well and I'm so pleased for him. Uh, as well, we have, let me see, we have the um, AT. It's our Chef Ralph, who is a AT Eats, and which that is a, a Haitian Creole fusion. And so I'm really looking forward to trying his. He has gotten a refuse. He's a caterer at, right now. And he has gotten, I went on to his uh, website and the reviews are amazing. So I think we're going to be... Uh, surprisingly excited uh, to try this Haitian Creole fusion down at the park on a regular basis. Definitely getting some multicultural representation uh, down there. Absolutely. Again, we have our returning favorites. You know, we have Nasser with uh, Nasser's Falafels. He's uh, coming back. We have a uh, Suvlakiville, which they were very popular last year. Royal Havali. Again, the Indian fu Indian fusion there for us. The uh, kati rolls are the best. Mm -hmm. got I like the samosas myself. <laughs> the uh, and gator fries, 
I mean, the best fries in the Bay of Quinney. And the staple. And the staple. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They are an an anchor for us out there. Um, We have Kennedy as well from the uh, Park Play Mini Golf. Another activity at the park. And, you know, everybody thinks mini golf is easy, but it's harder than you think. So I think it's a challenge for folks to come out to be active uh, and to try their hand at the mini golf again this year. Um, oh, we got popcorn. popcorn oh, the pop-ups. Pop- we have popcorn. Happy popcorn. What a lovely couple they are. And excited to be at the park as well, selling their multiple flavors of uh, packaged popcorn. So that uh, is going to be very exciting, especially for the kids, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, Along with Golden Scoop back. And Golden Scoop is back. And lemons. And of course, lemons. Uh, Paula's also exciting news for her this year. She is also going to be opening at Base 31 in Picton this year. So she's expanding again this year, which is awesome. So, yeah, we are looking forward to everyone coming back and getting going again and lots of stuff. We also have a lineup of local musicians for our acoustic lunch on Fridays starting at the end of June. So every Friday from noon till 1.30, we have uh, live entertainers under the willow trees, as I say, (laughs) and uh, local and so they're all very looking forward to it as well because it was uh, very popular last year. Um, new to the park this year is the uh, Lunch Out Loud series put on by the Belleville Public Library. So what that is, is uh, all two Thursdays in the summer, once school is out, uh, we'll have uh, children's authors coming down reading children's books out loud, and then they'll have activities for them to do after that to keep them in the park and and also to allow perhaps their parents to sit down and have a little snack or have some lunch while their kids are, you know, being entertained. So those are some of the little highlights. I'm sure more will come. Um, I'm trying to think. Of course, the bay is beautiful. It's a vision. The trails are great. We have a tremendous amount of tourists that stop mm-hmm. by Swix Park as our, as their, it's kind of like their stopping point. They come there to see where they should go. Mm-hmm. And then Bren convinces them how to stay another day. And I try my hardest. Uh, last year, if that's any indication, I talked to over 650 people that were, you know, locals, Visited. visitors, and a lot of visitors from Europe. Mm-hmm. So uh, again, I'm looking forward to this year to talking people into staying around Belleville area and to uh, keeping them entertained here with good food and lots of activities. Well, I think Bren is the perfect friendly yeah. face for people to see when they're down at the park. It's certainly been an advantage to us from a visitor services center to have someone in the space that can meet people in a place where they want to be. Sometimes people miss the log cabin. Mm-hmm. So having them where they want to enjoy the water and our beautiful trail system, it's a great place to meet people where they're at. And talk them into mm-hmm. staying, staying, staying another and day. going to places they might have never known were here. So that was, uh, I really enjoyed that with the tourists last year. Well, it's great, Bren, that Jill is keeping you busy this summer. So congratulations on all the success with organizing this. And we look forward to visiting you down at the pop-ups many times, probably, because it looks like we'll be eating there on a weekly basis, I think. (laughs) That sounds great. So much to try. There aren't enough weeks in the summer. And lots of, you know, and again, the acoustic lunch. Come and join, uh, have lunch and some live music. I mean, you can't go wrong. What a way to spend it on a Friday. There you go. Thanks, ladies. Appreciate it. Oh, thanks very much.